previously on Two Up and Overloaded. We rode our friend Lee's BMW GS 1200 for an epic ride from kilometer zero, the beginning of the Pan Borneo Highway in East Malaysia. But now it was time to hit the road on our own motorcycle, a KTM 250 adventure that we were renting here in Kuching. We are getting ready today to go pick up the motorcycle that we are going to be taking all throughout this region here of Borneo, Sarawak, then the country of Brunei, and then the region of Sabah. We're gonna bring it back here to where we've been staying for the past little bit. Then we're going to pack it up to what we're going to be taking to Sabah and back. It should be an awesome journey. Here we go. And we were hoping that this little motorcycle would take both of us and our luggage throughout the rest of East Malaysia, through the country of Brunei and into the depths of the jungles of Sabah. But first we had to pick up the motorcycle at the dealership that we were renting it from. Yeah, Tame Motors. Yeah, we had previously gone in to just kind of do some window shopping, if you will, and we decided on the KTM 250 and we were super excited and they were going to give it an oil change and mess around with yeah. the suspension and said they were doing a bunch of stuff to it and to prep it for us to, to finally pick it up and we got to go on our first official test ride. Yes! Okay, we're about to go on a test ride on the motorcycle just to kind of make sure the suspension and everything is all right where we want it. I'm trying to replicate as best as I can uh, kind of the luggage situation. We don't have our luggage right now, but I've got my backpack on, he's got his backpack on. We're gonna have just a back bag besides that, nothing else. So, here we go. And it was a dream come true. Mm-hmm, we approved. So we wanted to say a big, huge thank you to Alicia and uh, the Tay Motos family over there. You've been so awesome. Yeah. Thank you yeah, so much for everything. <laughs> they treated us so kindly. We got, they gave us free t-shirts. I know, how Super cool awesome. That? Why are we not wearing them? I don't know. <laughs> we got, we got two <laughs> equally cool shirts. Yes, we do. That's gonna be us, adventure day. Is it turn around? Yes. <laughs> yes, Vogue, Vogue. <laughs> Alicia was so awesome. I mean, she helped us right from the beginning and really just wanted to create an experience for us that we would enjoy and everything that we wanted to come true. And so thank you so much, Alicia, for all of your wonderful attention. Yeah, we just can't thank them enough for, for all the support and the awesome motorcycle, and we were officially off with a, a capable and amazing motorcycle underneath our legs. Thank you, Tay Motors, KTM, yay! Bye-bye, guys. Ah, oh, they have been just the best. So excited to get on the road on our new motorcycle, yay! Now we were going to be renting this motorcycle for a full month. It was going to take a long time to get to all the places that we wanted to go. So this was gonna be a long journey and we were on day one. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, riding back from the dealership, it was it was awesome. It had <laughs> great power, didn't have the, the saddlebags, and so I was able to, you know, zip around all the traffic. It was just a, it was a lightning bolt just through the traffic. I have to admit, what? but you, you 
we're doing this. a great job. Great. You know, I had a smile across my face. plane splitting. I mean, yeah, this is kind of one of the first times that we would be traveling. Well, it is the first time we'd be traveling without panniers. This That's is like true. a crazy thing for us. So, right. yeah, you could really just zip around that traffic. Yeah, that I did. <laughs> We were hoping that this KTM 250 Adventure was going to be the perfect motorcycle for our month-long trip around East Malaysia. But what we didn't know was that even though it is a motorcycle with a bigger engine than our previous bike, this motorcycle was going to prove to be a tight fit for two people and our luggage. Oh. This will have to be what it is. <laughs> hey everyone, nice to have you here. We are Tim and Marissa No Tear. I ride in the front and I'm in the rear. We travel the world and we pack too much gear. Oh, all the places, places we'll, we'll go. go through rain and through seed and through mud and through snow. Oh, all the, the things, things we'll see. see. We've been to a country or two or three. Oh, all the, the fun, fun we've, we've had. had. You have you along would make us real glad. So give us a like and, and hit subscribe, subscribe to join us along our epic ride. Hey everyone, good morning. I am here with my awesome friends, Jason and Philly. I can't thank you guys enough for showing us around Kuching and letting us stay here and introducing us to your family. And we are here at your auntie's Wow. Laksa stall. Laksa stall. So we are going to eat some laksa. We had been in contact with a gentleman named Jason and his wife, Pilly, who owned this establishment and have been kind enough to rent it to us from, from afar. And they were coming into Kuching. So right here we have got curry puff, which is, uh, this one is potato and chicken stuffed in a puff pastry. And this is popia, which is sort of like a fresh spring roll stuffed with veggie, a little bit of noodle, and sort of a peanutty sweet sauce. Looks so nice. They've just been an amazing uh, couple who have given us uh, a lot of tips to see around Kuching. Their the Jason's in-laws are amazing as well. So. Yes, I and Ibu, who had been yeah. taking us around Kuching. So just overall huge big hugs. Thank you. You guys are too kind, and thanks for letting us be a part of your life. And we got to finally meet them. Huh. I, so I, I suck on the like the finger part. Yeah. Okay. And this is your first chicken. Oh, it's good. It's spicy. Yes. So laksa, which is what everyone is having, has about thirty-two different ingredients to make the broth. No way. Yes. We also went to a little night market with Jason. Here at this night market, you can just go around from stall to stall. You give them your table number, what you want to order. They come to your table and they bring you your food and then you pay for it right there. And then someone comes around and asks for what you want to drink as well. So you can just go from stall to stall to stall and get all sorts of different stuff, a whole variety of things. And they'll bring it all to your table. It's really an awesome concept. Then there's so much variety. Yeah, this is true. I had a burger. Yes. A very unique burger. I'm not a burger kind of sewer, but I think burgers can go way wrong sometimes. Yes. This might have been one of those times. <laughs> <laughs> but it was food. I ate it. It, it was good. mostly sauce. It was mostly sauce. It was <laughs> like it was like that who's that painter? Like where Salvador everything Dali? melts. Yeah. <laughs> it was like that. And we had some of the the beat on a stick. Stuff. That satay yeah. was so good. I mean, you can find satay all over this area, but this was like to die for. Yeah. Specialty of this region. I still can't get over the satay, it's so good. <laughs> mm. better. So I had been in contact with Jason for a very long time. In fact, long before we even came to Southeast Asia, he contacted us and was like, if you're ever in that region, just let me know. And finally, these plans started formalizing, like, yes, I will be in Southeast Asia. And he really recommended not just places all over, but was like, you should really check out the island of Borneo. 
I didn't know anything yeah. about this place. And I have to say, if it wasn't for you, Jason, we might not be here now. We wouldn't this have even true. come to the island of Borneo without all of your suggestions and telling us how awesome it is. And I cannot thank you enough because it has been a life altering journey here in Borneo. So thank you so much, Jason. All right, I'm gonna try the nasi lemak, the national dish of Malaysia. Rice cooked in coconut milk. Oh, it's got a nice sweet taste to it. Very subtle, very light. I love it. Hey everyone, good morning. We are finally going to get on the road today. I couldn't be more excited, but today should be pretty straightforward. Highways, get as far as we can get, and then tonight we're going to be in the town of Cebu. We're gonna see what the road conditions are like here in Malaysia and see how different it is riding here compared to Indonesia. As we left the apartment to head off on this month-long journey through East Malaysia, we said goodbye to Jason and Pilly and it was so sad that we would not be seeing them again, but we have plans that maybe one day this in the future true. we will meet maybe on another continent. This is true. So it is not the end. And I had packed the motorcycle for the first time. You know, it's got a luggage rack and it's really tiny. I do miss our, our dynamic luggage rack yeah. back in the States. And it had a sissy bar for me. Yeah, but check out dynamic because they make awesome goodness. Yes. Uh, but I put our Moscow rear bag on. It was, you could tell it was the first time we ever did it. <laughs> But we were making things work. We don't have camping gear this time around, no. but everything that we were gonna be needing for this month long journey into a back bag and a tank bag. Yep. And we had two backpacks. And that back That's bag it. is 40 liters, the Moscow Moto backcountry. So we wanted to be able to you know, take pictures, record awesome stuff, and, and have, have clean underwear yeah. and shoes. Yeah, so that all was jimmy jammied <laughs> inside this one. It was hanging out there for de dear life. <laughs> yes, it was. There wasn't a lot of like... Uh, connection points. Connection points, yeah. yeah. But uh, there's a lot of hope. <laughs> it was tied down with hopes and dreams. This will have to be what it is. <laughs> Well, my backpack is like against my head. Oh well. It was very uh, sardine-esque. It was like tandem skydiving, right? It was like, <laughs> <laughs> we it was. were, we were very. We were attached at the hip. Yeah. In a not good way. <laughs> no, not at all. And th I mean, thankfully we were married. <laughs> we were super close. I was so squished that at first I was like, yeah, I can deal with this, it's hard to breathe. And then after a while of writing, I was thinking more and more like, no, this has to change. I cannot yeah. ride a motorcycle for a month like this. So we stopped for lunch at this lovely little place that we just found on the side of the road. Yeah. And we had noticed pretty early on that parking the new motorcycle, the kickstand was a little bit short for our liking. Yeah. Especially it, with I mean, all that new weight on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we just got a little piece of wood and we're trying to make do with that. We found this great little uh, food court area. They've got lots of different options. Tim. You got a... Beer goreng. Uh, fried, fried noodles. Yeah. Nice. And some french fries, because I saw a girl eating french fries. I was like, french fries. French fries. Okay. Yeah. Nice. At this little lunch spot, I ordered laksa, and you had french fries. fries. I walked by and these two little cute girls were eating french fries. And I was like, oh, those actually look like good fries. They're not like <laughs> disgusting. And so... <laughs> I asked them, that, and there were the little fry makers. When they gave it to me... All right, what's on your fries here? I don't know. <laughs> mayo, sriracha, and cheese. Cheesy mayo, mayo, or like, like liquid cheese? Yeah. It's not bad, it's not good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just like, so close. 
As we headed on down the road on our first day of riding, we also hit our first real rainstorms of Southeast Asia. But we had our rain gear, so that was good. That's true. I mean, one thing that's really nice about our climb gear is that uh, it's meshed, so there's a lot of airflow yes. that comes through, which is absolutely needed. But they have still yet to make the technology of mesh Gore-Tex gear. <laughs> so. But thankfully, climb also makes Gore-Tex rain gear yeah. as well. So we had that, and we were just fine. Yeah, no, 100%. It was starting to be, this is the first time we were on a motor scooter for a very long time, mm -hmm. and it was a long day. And yeah. It was only in total going to be like a five hour day. And I know people all, everybody just side like, what, I've done five iron butts. And you know, <laughs> like, I, I ride five hours to work and back every day. <laughs> you know, but this has been a little bit, it's on a brand new motorcycle and we're like the, you yeah. know, the compressed versions of, you know, we were, we went from 16 bit to eight bit over here. wasn't comfortable and we weren't yet in the groove of writing yeah. and traveling and so it was it was getting to us and we were getting really really tired we pulled over at this little bus stop and i'm doing like old man stretches you know <laughs> it's like i'm just like wow this is yeah this is pretty tight so we just went through a rainstorm i'm kind of kind of tired the bike's kind of cramped First day back on the road on a motorcycle for a minute. And uh, yeah, it's a little, a little cramped on the motor scooter. It is so cramped on the motorcycle. Like I'm being pushed from the back and pushed from the front against him. It's insane how cramped we are. Who doesn't want to be pushed in the front and from the back? <laughs> on the Tim. Yeah, I think uh, we planned for way too long today. Five hours is a bit. Too much on this fine first day. We haven't been on the road in so long that we gotta, you know, get back into the groove of things. So, but now we have to continue on before sunset. There's one final last stretch to Cebu. Was mm -hmm. that our first night there? The sunset was coming. It was oh, really beautiful. pretty. We found this little hotel and it was super great. First day on the road, done. Another cool thing about the Moscow Moto locks is that the, the little cord on them is, is small enough to go through the, the disc of the, the brake and then you can wrap it around uh, handlebars and lock it, so it's, it's a nice little wheel lock. Yeah. So, bonus fact, thank you Moscow Moto for making cool stuff. It's just a little bit of peace of mind. Yes. And we had a security cat. Oh, the security cat. Yeah. Oh. You gonna protect the bike? Hi, protect you're so bike sweet. <laughs> <laughs> We're open to having Air Hawks be cat beds as long as they don't As long as them. they don't do this. <laughs> as a celebration of a really good day, we went to that, we went to a little restaurant. Yeah, I mean, oh. we were beat, but this restaurant just lifted our spirits. Such good food. Yeah. And, and good chocolate shake. Yeah, you had that huge milkshake. <laughs> this is true. I represent gluttony. <laughs> like every video, like, oh, I made some high, high carb. This is so nice. <laughs> But it was delicious and it was a, a, a good end to a nice long day. We were still very excited and we knew that there would have to be a couple adjustments to the motorcycle, yes. but 
we were going to make this bike be the perfect motorcycle for our exploration around Borneo. Next time, we finally get to the coast, what we've been waiting for. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Ding, ding. And we'll be seeing you next time. Stay safe, everybody. And we would love to invite everybody onto our Patreon page. We get early access to all of the videos without uh, any commercial breaks uh, about yes. a week early. So that's always a bonus. You get sneak clips to where we are currently from us on the road. And when we find ourselves settled somewhere or passing through in a post office, we merge those two and we shoot out postcards. So check out our Patreon link in the description below and we hope to be seeing you there. Stay safe, everybody. Bye. Peace. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I had something in my mouth and my, yep. Oh. It's my tongue. <laughs>